Right, how's everyone doing? Good, I hope you know. Right, I'm going to make a quick video about the Atari VCS and the Intellivision Amigo, you know. Right, so, the Atari VCS is awesome. It has a long future ahead of it, and it's going to get better and better over time. Now, uh, Atari just purchased M Network, which is an awesome move, in my opinion. Uh, and Atari VCS Fall 2, there's a bunch of their games, like, um, Astro Blast and other games. But uh, this is great because not only can Atari release their games that came out on the Atari 2600, but they can make new games. And that's what's going to happen with you. You know, it's a great move. Now it is. And we hear people, to, um, haters, telling me that uh, what's the point of Atari buying about these uh, companies when no one cares about them? You know what I mean? Uh, you know, well, we care, and there's a whole lot of other people that care, you know what I mean, like, you know, and, you know, it's awesome. And the fact that Atari are doing this shows that they do have enough money to survive, if not get better, you know. Because that's the one thing the Harriers keep telling me, you know. Atari have no money, and they can't afford to do anything. Well, these, these fellas don't know what they're talking about, you know what I mean. Uh, you know, um... But for the first time in decades, Atari is profitable to making money, you know what I mean? And, you know, because of that, we're going to see more and more awesome games. We're going to see hardware and software upgrades to the Atari VCS. And it's awesome, you know? Uh, so, yeah, I mean, it has a, the Atari VCS has a, has a long future ahead of it. Uh, we, we call, we call, like... Boyan M Networks um, games, Accolade, Night Dive Studios, you know, uh, Stern Electronics, these are all stepping stones to greatness in my opinion. You know what I mean? I think uh, if Atari didn't buy these, these studios, the VCS library would be severely limited and it wouldn't be as good. You know, and it's going to be tons of games, you know, because there's a lot of people out there that love retro games like myself. You know, or re reimagined retro games. And that's exactly what Atari is going to do with these companies. And that makes me happy, makes a whole lot of other people happy. And it's going to make Atari more money. So the VCS will keep getting funding and will keep going. So don't listen to the haters out there because we've, we've, we've talked to a lot of we did start to say, what's the point of Atari buying, buying all these companies? You know, well, to make themselves. Ultimately, more money, but also to make Atari great and the VCS great, and that's what's going to happen. You know, so yeah, I'm happy with that. You know, so uh, Alien Abduction Twenty Six Hundred, it's a brilliant game. You know, and it, it's a uh, it's the first exclusive game on the Atari VCS, and it's a it's a brand new game. You know, um. So, brilliant. And that's one thing the haters always tell me. The Atari VCS will never have any um, exclusives. as well. Here we go. And this is the fourth of many to come, like, you know. Now, for me personally, I don't care about exclusives that much. Once the, the system has awesome games, that's good enough. Having exclusives is a bonus, you know. So, yeah, so this is today, fellas out there telling me that at one Atari, the Atari VCS, won't survive longer than two years. They don't have any money and they don't have any exclusives. Well, I'm sure that those fellas right now are eating humble pie. Uh, they didn't know what the hell they were talking about. So anyway, I just want to put that out there, you know. So, yeah. Yeah, really. So yeah, I just want to put that out there. Uh, the Atari VCS is awesome, it has a long picture ahead. And, um, like I said, the Atari Boy the Body Studios, Night Dive Studios, and so forth is great news. And, you know, we're going to see tons of games, which is what I want, because without games, the system is going to fail, you know. Yeah. Yeah, so now I'm going to move on to the Intellivision Amigo, you know. Now, the Intellivision Amigo. What? Now, 
I hope it does come out. I really do. I mean, because we understand why, why people like it and why they want it to come out because they, they, they were fans of television. They like the games that could, could, that could come out on it. You know what I mean? And yeah, we, we, we understand that, you know. I'm not a hater of the television amigo by any means, you know. Uh, you know, but me personally, I just can't see it coming out. You know, um, because I don't believe, the, I don't believe um, it'll ever come out. Because the people that are in charge are just giving a bunch of bullshit excuses. And we just don't think it's ever going to come out. Um, but I hope it does. I hope it does. Yeah, so, so the latest I'm hearing about the television in Nico, that is that John Alvarado says that all last year they were uh, uh, test units were, were, were given to people and they were testing out the television in Nico. And um, he says it's not up to him to make any official annou announcements, it's down to Phil, Phil Adam. So, uh, they said all last year, all last year people were testing out test units, you know. Uh, so I just want to address that first part. We we haven't seen anybody on YouTube actually playing Amigo. Yes, now now certain fellas got test units as they call them or poorly units, but they said that they couldn't show anything of the system because they had to sign an NDA. So, well, these people did get it. We, we never saw them play any games on it. They described what the, they showed what the system looked like, the control and everything else, but we never actually seen them turn it on and play a game. Now, on an official level, we never seen John Alvarado actually do that. Uh, now, yeah, the, in television, Amico, there was no unboxing a while ago with John Alvarado, but I don't believe that was a true unboxing. Um, okay, the guys who were playing, what were they playing them on? Because they were playing something, but I don't believe it was the, the final in television Amigo product. I think that was um, some prototype, you know. I don't think it was, it, it's the finished thing, you know. Um, so, we don't know. See, that's the thing, we don't know. And that's the reason why we say it'll never come out, because they have to show us actually building the things, where they're building them. Everything they haven't shown us these things. All they're saying is it's been in the hands of uh, t people with test units for a year. Yeah, I don't know, but we we'll see what happens, right? But we don't, we don't think so. I mean, um, but who knows? I could be wrong, like, you know. So, yeah, uh, uh, they're my opinions, you know, uh, you know, about the television and me. I don't, I still don't think it'll come out because there's no proof that I will, you know, and. It's just John Alvarado saying a bunch of words just, just to keep us all happy. Um, but now I'll prove to back it up. But we'll see what happens, right? Because like I said, I hope um, it does come out. I hope the people that want to get it, you know, and if it does come out, we will get an television maker because I do like the games that are on there. Uh, you know, but will it come out? I don't think so. Um, uh, but we see. We see, you know. And there goes the question. Because in the... When the television Amigo was first getting shown off eight, four, five something years ago, they were showing something off, but we don't believe that was an actual television Amigo. We think that was something else. Um, it could have been a PC or it could have been um, or a smartphone inside of an intelligent Amigo shell because basically the intelligent Amigo is, a, from what they tell me, a low powered um, cell phone, smartphone sort of a shell that lights up. But we don't know. You know, uh, that's the question. We, we don't know. We haven't seen that in concrete myself that convinces me that this, this thing is real and it's going to come out. Uh, there's just too many question marks, um, you know. Uh, and John Alvarado saying that, yeah, test units were given to people. But like I said, I've seen these, I've seen videos on YouTube and all they're showing us what the system looks like what the controllers look like, 
they didn't show us any games or anything like that because I think the system had a whole bunch of problems and they haven't been ironed out yet. And the John of Ireland is trying to be the, 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 the top engineer of this thing, or, or so they say. So what he should have been saying was, uh, I'm hard at work trying to fix all the issues that are with the Amigo and until they're ready, the system will never come out. Now, if he had said that, we would have believed that because uh, in the Intelligent Amigo unboxing, they did jump cuts to, to skip certain parts. So, like, actually turning on the system, what it looks like, um, connecting the controllers, how you actually connect them, you know? All this was just magically done, and then they're playing a the game. That's the part that's suspect for me, you know? Um, and then they're all suddenly just playing the game together. Uh, I don't know. So, and... I don't know. That's quite, that, that, that's the, the, the whole reason why I say the television we go will never come out because we don't know. But I hope, like I said, I hope it does. You know, but for me, there's just too many issues here because there are people saying the controller has problems, the system has problems. None of these problems seem to be in a f fixed. Yeah, because that's the first thing John Alvarado should have said was, "I'm hard at work at fixing the issues with the Amigo." And when they're done, yeah, but he's not saying that. He says he's waiting for Phil Adams to make an official statement. You know, he says, all he says was, ah, oh, last year, there were te people had test units and they were, they were playing them, and we got a lot of information about that. What? You know, what, what, what information? You know, I mean, that's what I'm saying. So anyway, that, they're more opinions of the television Amico uh, Looks like I hope it comes out. I don't think it's going to but I hope it is. Because I don't know. I'm sure there's a lot of people saying, we don't know, like, you know, is it or isn't it? We don't know, you know. Yeah, what, what, what I'd like to see, um, if we was a, a, a fan of the Amiga, if we wanted to come out, because uh, the same thing could have happened with the Atari VCS. But I had faith in the Atari that they delivered and they did. Because I knew the people at Atari were trustworthy, honest people. And that's the difference, you know, because in television, I don't think they're, they're upfront and honest. I think they're, they're saying things so they can take the money for themselves. But that's just my opinion. You know, I can't know proof one way or the other. But the fact of the matter is, this in television Miko thing started in 2018. It's 2023 and still no sign of it. You know, it's just them saying things to keep us happy. Or, or the people that really want to happy. There's no concrete evidence that it's being built. Where it's being built, what are the materials, where, you know, because with Atari, they told us where it's going to get built. They show us photographs and showing it getting built, the materials, everything. They even show us how pilots getting ready to go. If we was an intelligent Amigo fan, that's what we'd want to see. Not just them saying things, you know what I mean? Because they can say anything, you know, and that's what it seems like to me. Uh, over the years, they've said things that just felt to me bullshit, just made up stuff. Um, I, I just think this is the same thing again, you know. Uh, so yeah, so I'll, 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 I'll leave at that because uh, um, the television amigo, like I said, I hope it comes out. Uh, uh, but I don't take it out because there's just too many questions and well, there's not enough answers. But if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Like they, these are just my opinions, you know what I mean? Uh, like I said, I hope it comes out for the people that want it because if I was in when I was back in the Atari VCS, the same thing could have happened, and I would have been devastated. And if 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 the Atari VCS turned out to be a scam, it would be fucking devastated. Well, so I know how those people are feeling that actually love the the entire business Rico. So that's why I say I hope it comes out. You know, I really do. But like I said, the the main difference between Atari and 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 in television that the, and, and in television is that the people that actually work at Atari are trustworthy, honest people. That want to make Atari great again, Atari VCS great, and the fans happy. When the television is the complete opposite, they just want the money, and that's it. They don't want to give us a product. You know what I mean? So that's their my opinion. So the Atari VCS is awesome. Like I said, they to make an all right moves, born the bodies, studios, Night Dive Studios, Accolade, Stern Electronics, uh, M Network. All this is great news because we're going to get tons and tons of games. 
and these are stepping stones to greatness for the entire VCS in my opinion. Uh, um, they are profitable, Atari, I mean, they're even more so than back in the 80s, you know. They're not in debt, they're not in the red, they're all doing great, you know. And that's the difference, they're trustworthy, honest people that are game-centric. And that's the main thing that's going to make the Atari PCS a success way, well beyond 2027. We made the early prediction, 2027 is when support will stop from for the Atari V says I was wrong about that because the tons of indie guys indie devs more as we speak so brilliant brilliant you know and awesome awesome news uh, so yeah and to the people that said the, the V says will never have any exclusive there you go like A in abduction 2600 is the force of many to come you know so I'm really really happy with that uh so yeah, so what I'd like to see on the Atari VCS is a first person shooter of some sort and more racing games, you know. Uh, but how, how few we get that, you know, because that's how team is missing, you know, uh, for me anyway. Uh, something like Doom or something like that. that. That's what I'd love to see on the Atari VCS star, something like that. Uh, so yeah, brilliant stuff. And looks at the Intellivision Amigo. Um, John Alvarado says, ah, oh, last year... People have had test units and they've been testing them, sending back them feedback and they're working on that. And he says he's, Phil, Phil Allen's going to make an official statement about that. Uh, so in my opinion, that's just all words, means nothing. Um, uh, it's still up in the air in my opinion whether it'll actually come out or not. You know, uh, we don't think so. Um, but we see, right? They're my, they're my opinions, you know. So I hope everyone has a good day out there. All the best, boy, boy.